hello friends due to all of you uh, this is the brushaski the most uh, ancient language and the isolated language of gilgit baltistan uh, so in this uh, chapter we are studying about chapter 5 and lesson 5 uh, sandium patri sandium hakim uh, we were discussing about the mayum means existence of gender rochi existence of rochi in this we have studied about four lessons now we are studying uh, we studied about the past present future and the surprise tense akesh baring now we are studying about the uh, non-existence aimayum non-existence so when a thing does not exist it is absent or the answer is in negative how will you address the genders so we are going to describe today so first of all this is the hyanin the pronouns are called the hyanin uh, in the hyanin uh, this is ja ja means me or i so in this ja apa i am absent or i am not there when you will say the answer is in negative like ab absent the non-existence negative or absence you will say apa ba means i am present and apa means absent so i am means ja ba i ja apa i am not so me apan we are absent un apa un apa okay un apa i will write here un apa so un apa you are absent ma apan you are absent un apa singular for singular you are absent one person apa more more people for plural ma apan so ma apan ne apai he is absent mo apu for female mo apu for male ne apai he is absent mo apu she is absent we apan they are absent khwe apan these are absent so after that here for the non-living beings and for the animals uh, we are discussing uh, then uh, here say api uh, say api means that is absent or it is absent i will write that instead of the here is written the but it is uh, that so that is absent guse uh, api this is absent and say apian those are absent good say apian these are absent te api that is absent for for soft things for liquids and for um, clothes and for foldable things te te api that is absent gute api this is absent guke api these are absent ke api those are absent te gute guke ke these are for soft things and for uh, non living beings and uh, for uh, foldable things for cloth like things for fluid things you will use these genders you will use these helping verbs okay these mayums so basically these are i mayums because they uh, show the absence of things we have already studied the presence and the existence of the things so these already uh, uh, we have studied se api guse api se apian guse apian te api gute api guke api ke api and thank you very much so this was the negative tense in the existence mayum mayum means existence and i mayum means non existence so you can take a screenshot of this and i will also uh, add a, a screenshot in the comments so you can easily understand and we will meet in the next chapter and the next chapter the fifth chapter is about uh, the doroing doroing means works how you will express the works 
in Brusaski and what are the works and are the verbs. We will explain the Doroin in the next chapter. Thank you very much. Take care.